Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to the preview of Athletic against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. A uh, big game tonight, about two and a half hours now away from kickoff, and some very interesting uh, annotations actually to the different teams that are being shown out by the media in Spain. The big, big question is who is going to partner Neymar in the front line and also who's going to replace the injured Jordi Albert left back. Now, Mattia is not in the squad. Adriano has been included, but I don't know what his match fitness is like. So in a lot of the prospective lineups, Sergi Roberto is being placed as the left back, possibly. Uh, the Marlin also could possibly play there, or you could see Adriano coming in and playing in that position. In terms of the, the strikers, Neymar's definitely going to play up front. Whether he's going to be supported by two or one players is yet to be seen. He could play uh, two strikers and four in midfield, or he could stick with the functional 4-3-3. Uh, Arda Turan is likely to start the game, whether that's in midfield or a little bit further forward, as we saw him at the weekend when he replaced Messi in that front three. We're not really sure yet. Again, Alex Vidal is expected to play, but whether he's going to play right back or again more for, for forward, we don't know. Uh, Munir is expected also to play some part in the game uh, of course he scored two goals in our last Copa del Rey outing away at Espanyol a good performance from him there showing some good signs so hopefully he can bring that confidence into today's game if he starts and also a rare inclusion in the squad for Sandra Ramirez who's been linked away from the club for most of the window but of course without Messi and Suarez tonight we're going to need all the forward power that we can get we're playing against a team who we may have beaten 6-0 a few days ago, but that was in quite incredible circumstances, really. Um, athletic going down to 10 men with about two, three minutes on the clock. Their goalkeeper being sent off. So it's going to be very, very different at San Mamés. The crowd are going to be on our backs, exactly like we saw in the first game of the season when we only just got out of there with a 1-0 win. And also, of course, in the Spanish Super Cup where they absolutely destroyed us 4-0. Adarith on the night scoring a hat-trick who coincidentally does return for Athletic tonight. He will be playing and it's going to be very, very interesting to see how our centre-backs handle him and how Ter Stegen as well commands himself between the sticks. He's expected a starting goal. Uh, Alves may well play at right back alongside Pique, possibly Vermaelen or Mascherano and then as we said, Sergio Roboto at left back. In midfield, Busquets and Iniesta are pretty much nailed on. Whether Rakitic, Arda will join him in field is, is yet to be seen. And of course, Neymar in attack, possibly alongside Munir. So the lineup looks good. I don't think it's um, too bad a lineup, you know, with injuries to obviously Delino Messi, who is expected to be back for the game on the weekend against Malaga, although we're not quite sure yet how much of an extent we're taking in this whole precaution thing, because it's still not reported that Lionel Messi even has an injury. Apparently, we're just making sure that he's okay not taking any risks uh, and obviously Luis Suarez is serving the final game of his uh, ban he got a two match ban for something he didn't even say against Espanyol he served the one game in the last match and this is the final game of the suspension and funny enough his appeal was actually thrown out earlier on today they rejected that which is ridiculous uh, but in terms of the game goes I think it's going to be quite a tight one I don't think we can expect six goals from either team tonight. No, nothing like the weekend. I think it's going to be a bit cagey for us to start with. We always seem to start games away from home a little bit slowly. Um, so I'm going to say possibly a 1-0 win for us. And I think it may even be one over. I think it's quite important that we get out of there with an away goal. That's going to be important going into the home leg where we'd expect to have the likes of Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez yet again available. So we just don't want to lose tonight. We don't want to lose the game. Never go into a game to draw it, of course. They're going to be going there to win. And I'm actually really excited tonight to see how Neymar handles it because it's not very often that he's not supported by either Lionel Messi or Suarez. Sometimes one of them is missing, but very, very rarely are there two players that are missing from that attacking trio. So it's going to be very, very interesting tonight to see how Neymar handles that responsibility and almost looking into the future and seeing that in years to come when he's left with this sort of uh, responsibility on his shoulders how is he going to handle it? I think personally he's going to do really well. I think the last few games he's performed admirably, uh, not only in terms of with Luis Suarez and Messi, but individually he's been excellent on the ball, he's been confident, and certainly tonight he's going to get a lot of the ball, but I'm absolutely sure that Athletic are going to get very, very tight to him. They're going to kick him, they're going to try and frustrate him. It's up to Neymar to stay nice and cool. He has a job to do out there tonight, and he's got to make sure that he can fire us ahead in this tie, because it is a tough game. You know, we've got a tough draw here. There's a lot of good teams left in the Copa 
Real Madrid, the likes of Valencia's, Sevilla's, Atletico Madrid, of course. We've avoided all those teams, but the next team we don't want to get is Athletic, and we've got those tonight. So it's a very, very important first leg. We've got the security of having to have the home leg, the second game at home, which is always nice, but we certainly want to leave tonight with a positive result. So let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think the score will be tonight. What do you think the lineup should be? Who should start at left back? And also, should we play with two strikers or should we play with three? And who should be supporting Neymar in those advanced roles? So let me know down below, guys. Excited to hear your opinions. Uh, you might want to have a look in the description as well. I'm on Instagram now, so if you can follow me there, and also on Facebook as well. So interested to hear your thoughts, guys. Uh, I'll be back after the game with a review of all the events. Hopefully it's a positive one. Hopefully we get a good result. I'll see you very, very soon. But until then, Visca, El Barca.